I am betting you have never seen a Stitch Fix video start out this way before. If you want to see what kind of crazy fashion entertainment I have for you today, keep on watching. It's Angela. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. You're probably scared if this is your first time here. Actually, you're probably wondering what is this woman doing? And I bet you all my viewers are wondering that as well. So today is a fun day. I've got a stitch fix and you know I have to entertain when I've got a stitch fix. I just like doing things that are outside of the box. Even if it's a fashion video, I thought we would have some fun. And the reason why I even got this crazy idea to start our video out this way is because I got some extras today in my Stitch Fix and they were PJs. And so one thing led to another and I'm thinking, you know, I could wear those PJs in the beginning of the video, put on my cozy robe, put my hair up in some curlers and just go with it. If you guys are into fashion hauls and unboxings and, and weekly vlogs, go ahead and consider hitting that subscribe button so you won't miss out on all my fun, crazy entertainment coming your way. So I have a fantastic lineup for you guys today. We got the Fundal Bundle. I didn't even unwrap everything because it's like, it's such a perfect fall bundle. Mm, I can't wait to show you guys. We have Mr. Bentley's third choice for a Halloween costume. So you guys had voted between the first two, the Ewok won. Now today, the Ewok is gonna be up against the new costume. Wait till you guys see what it is. And of course, we have the Hot Mess Awards coming up. And what makes this one so special are these pictures got sent to me by other viewers. So what I did is I'm gonna try to recreate some of those outfits out of my own closet and we're gonna have a little fun with those. And you remember that outfit, that wacky outfit that you guys voted on back in August for me to wear out somewhere? Yeah, well, that's happening today. I'm not really sure how I feel about that, but I said I would do it and I will. My daughter was the lucky culprit to come out with me today to the mall so she can record me wearing this crazy outfit out in the mall. Let me tell you, it is pushing me outside my comfort zone big time. So that's happening today. And of course, we have the try on of all the beautiful things that were sent to me from Stitch Fix. So buckle up buttercups, we got a lot going on today. So why don't I show you the extras that Stitch Fix sent me first so I can get out of this crazy get up and then we'll get right to the try on. Take a look at these warm, cozy PJs. These are so soft. So again, they have all kinds of extras, right when your box is being ready to be styled and it's still an opportunity for you to fill out your note to your stylist, there are different extras that you can pick from. And they have anything from socks, and now they have masks, believe it or not. They have PJs, they have underwear, bras, all kinds of stuff like that. So, I was looking through there and saw these really cute PJs and I thought, I gotta try those. Let me talk about the top first. So this is a set by Seeing Stars, and which is appropriate, right? Like a PJ set. Okay, so you've got this really nice, cozy fleece-like uh, top. It's got a, way, a band at the bottom so it comes tighter. And the same thing at the sleeves there. Uh, rounded neck with just a tiny bit of a neckline there and very comfy. This is a size small, this set. Now the pants, of course, love the pants, and they are a nice, thin, but very soft as well, uh, pajama pant. So here's a pattern on those, and what I really like about them also is that they're elastic at the end of the, the pant. The reason why I think, for me, why I like that so much is because if you're wearing these to sleep and they don't have that, they're just kind of a regular pant, they tend to get all maneuvered around while you're sleeping at night. This at least kind of keeps it tighter here so it doesn't ride up when you're asleep. Love the print again, I like that gray looking leopard print pant. So I just thought I'd give you guys a sneak peek at what some of those extras are all about. All right, now that's much better, right? <laughs> 
no more curlers, no more robe, actually get dressed, do the hair, you know, all that good stuff. I wanted to hop on here and show you guys this fundal bundle because it is beautiful. It is a perfect picture of fall. Look at that. I mean, are those all not perfect fall colors? <laughs> Eleanor nailed it with these fall colors, let me tell you that. So, while I'm getting myself ready for the try-on, I'm gonna show you guys Bentley's next Halloween costume choice. So stay tuned for that. The long-awaited third costume. Here is Mr. Bentley as Mr. Postman. What are you guys thinking about this costume? He looks pretty darn cute, doesn't he? All right, so, oh yeah, you can tell he's really bored. We've got this costume to choose from and the Ewok. So you guys will vote on which one you think he should be for Halloween. Uh, Bentley, do you have a package? Here we go with the first item. Beautiful color right off the bat, right? Perfect for fall. I love this wine burgundy type color. It really is nice. And of course, I'm starting to wonder if any Stitch Fix top is not soft. Everything I get most of the time is super soft. It's like, where are they getting these clothes from? So let's talk about this top. This must be the style right now. I mean, because I've been getting a lot of this style top. Dolman, but in a way it's a little different than a Dolman. It's got these wider sleeves. I know it's called something different, and I've heard this before. I just can't think of what it is. I like, you know, the the roominess here, but it kind of comes tighter at the hips, so that's really nice. And it has, you know, a little bit of a wider band here, but no ribbing at all on any of it. And it really kind of has a boat neck look to it, so that's kind of pretty. And the kind of interesting thing about this, which it's functional, but I don't think you'd want it to be functional, is this zipper. So it's got this neat little gold zipper detail down here, but where are we going unzipping that? Like, cause it's not gonna look good, you know? I mean, you could maybe do it a little bit, but literally now I'm showing my bra strap and if I kept going, I mean, I'll show you guys. I, you see what I'm saying? Who's wearing it like this? Uh, I'm not wearing it like this. Although, you know, no. <laughs> Wardrobe malfunction. Because I'm like, oh, how about like a one shoulder thing? Uh, that's not gonna happen because it's not gonna stay. It's not gonna stay. Did you see when I tried to move a little bit? Yeah, what happened there? No, you don't wanna do that. You wanna keep that mama zipped. Just one zipper, not on the other side at all. So it's just for a little effect. Like the waist here though, I really do. So here's the side, back. It's a great fall top, it really is. Can't find anything bad to say about it. I guess the only thing I could say is if I were to put the sleeves all the way down, here's what's going on with my fingers. So there is enough room in this cuff here that I could roll it one time. Okay, so that's not a bad look, right? Not at all. And now it's perfectly out of the way of my hand. So win-win for everybody. So this is a good one. We're starting off right. Okay, let's see what's next. Oh, how about this mama, huh? This is a really pretty color too, and I hope that it comes across that you guys can actually tell. This is like an emerald or a forest green. It really is, or maybe even a hunter. Dark, it's dark, okay? It's dark, dark green. Again, the softness factor going up here. I do really like a V-neck because then you can wear a pretty necklace with it. It looks good. You could still do a scarf, it's still fine. The bottom has got like a band around it, you know, almost like a sweatshirt does. And the sleeves, just a small amount of cuff there. But can you guys see that color? Look at that color. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so here's a side view. Oh, I haven't said this in a while. You guys remember my saying, the detail is in the back? I used to say that a lot, I feel like, in the springtime when you get those cute little tank tops and stuff and it looks like pretty plain in the front, but the details in the back. I even laugh with my husband. I'm like, I should like get t-shirts. I should get merchandise that says the details in the back because it would be kind of funny. People would be like, what are you talking about, your booty? <laughs> so that would be fun. We just laughed about it, you know. It's not really gonna happen, but you know, I just thought it would be funny. Details in the back with this shirt too. So let me show you. The back. 
How pretty is that, right? That is really neat. Now, in case you're wondering, it does kind of come right, like my bra strap is showing just a little bit, not the whole thing. And maybe if I kind of put this V down a little bit more in the front, not too scary low, but maybe it would kind of cover up the bra strap just a bit. It's not bad, but really cute detail back there. Because this is a light sweater, you can get away with just wearing this with your jeans and stuff in the winter time, you don't really need another layer. You know, if you go out somewhere, your coat is the other layer. So when you take off that coat, you've got, you will be able to see that detail in the back. It's not like you have to have a cardigan over this because it's a lightweight t-shirt or anything like that. So very happy with this. What are you guys thinking? All right, let's see what's next. Okay, I had to spin you guys around because the light is coming in through my front door and even with my ring light on, it was making me look dark still. So I'm like floating, trying to float to find a good spot here. All right, top number three. What are you guys thinking about this one? I am thinking I'm pretty impressed. Eleanor always knows I like something different. We're back to that, Bentley. He hasn't done that in a while, has he? All right, we'll let him go. The color is one that's really pushing me outside my comfort zone. This is, I don't normally gravitate towards this color, but I am learning as we go here to be a little bit more open and try different things, try different colors, try different styles. And in doing that, I am finding some things that I never would have thought in a million years I would have liked before. And I really do like this wrap detail here with this like tulip bottom. I think that's really pretty and it's got this kind of cowl neck here. Uh, just regular sleeves, and this is okay soft. It's not like the other two, but it's all right, you know? So let me give you kind of the turn. Side view on that and the back. I kind of like too that it's a little bit longer. So if you're wearing leggings in the fall or the winter, maybe with some like high boots that come almost to the knee, that would look really cute, right? With this kind of top like that. And here's a surprise. There is another surprise to this top. Are you ready? It has pockets. <laughs> it literally has pockets. <laughs> I mean, that is like total surprise right there. Oh, love this top. What are you guys thinking about this color? Is, am I just being a little nuts here or is this good color? Because it's a perfect color for fall. I just don't know if it's a good color for me. Well, I'm getting my other two items ready to go. We're going to go to the mall and see what happened when I was wearing that wacky outfit. Now, spoiler alert, the mall was not that crowded. It's a Tuesday today, and it was the middle of the day, so there were some people there, but my daughter did not want to really get them in the camera if she could help it because she didn't know how they would feel if they were being filmed, you know? So we, she tried to get me in different locations that no one was really around. So you're not gonna see anybody looking going, oh, you know, or anything like that. No one did that. <laughs> so, and I'm glad because I would have been like, oh God, you know. It's just short. We took some footage of me doing a few little things, but I did wear that outfit out. I did it and I was embarrassed and, it, and I didn't even have to do anything crazy, okay? But I was a little embarrassed, but I just went with it, okay? So enjoy that while I'm getting the other two pieces ready. All right, so here's the last two pieces. I know we are going way off the deep end with warm, and probably none of us even want to think about winter. But here are the last two pieces, and there are two really warm pieces too. So let's talk about this cardigan first. Really nice length on the cardigan, right? Because if you're wearing leggings or jeans, it's a perfect length. It's got just a little slit on the bottom of each side, 
and really nice neutral colors, right? It's got a little lighter gray, a little darker gray, and it's got the Sherpa lining, which is only the front, basically. See how it's just kind of in the front and the inside of the hood is lined with the Sherpa. There are no pockets at all and no snap or button or any kind of closure. So you're just, it's just gonna kind of hang like that. The sleeves for me are a little long. Do you see all that bunching? I mean, literally, you're getting this again. If you pull the sleeves all the way down, if I pull the sleeves all the way down, it's just my fingertips showing through the end of that sweater. So as you saw, it's got just the Sherpa and the very front so that when it kind of drapes like that, you've got just a little bit showing. I kind of wish it was all the way through. Would that not be like the best cardigan ever? Oh my God, you would never want to take this thing off, ever. And the hood, you know, while I'm glad that it's lined with the Sherpa, you know, where am I going with that? I don't know. I would rather have that, have the Sherpa that was put in that hood put throughout the rest of this cardigan. <laughs> so here's the back. So nice cardigan, right? Okay, so now let's talk about these leggings. I have never seen a pair of leggings like this before. They are basically corduroy leggings. I mean, who knew, right? They're a dark gray, and I am gonna pan down and show you guys those so you can get an up close look. But let me step back so you guys can see the full effect. They look great, you know, and they're, they're soft because it's that corduroy feel. Let me pan you guys down so you guys can really take a look. Hopefully you guys can see the coloring on those and the material. I'm not sure if you guys can see the ribbing almost like the cording that goes through, just like corduroy. They're very soft, really soft inside and out. And they're, you know, it's nice to have a versatile pair of leggings so that all the leggings I have, like say in my closet, don't look like Lululemon. You know, you've got some variation in the material anyway. So I could wear these with something a little bit dressier than I would with my regular active wear looking leggings. All right, so before we head on down to the Hot Mess Awards, let's do a review of these items so you guys can find out what they're called, how much they are, and all that good stuff. So if you're not into the Hot Mess Award, you can skedaddle out of here, okay? Let's start with this cardigan that's got the Sherpa lining in the hood. It is by Lefty and Me, and it is a Dockery Sherpa trim hooded cardigan. $54, that's really not that bad. I mean, it's a nice cardigan. It really is. I just kind of wish it personally that it was the whole thing was Sherpa lined. I'd be in heaven. All right, so we've got this one. Okay, and then we've got the detail in the back, emerald green top. This one is by Love Always, and it's the Mia back detail pullover, and $44. Again, a not bad. Actually, I'm looking at these prices. None of them are really that bad, so very nice let me know what you guys think of this and we've got this wine colored or burgundy colored a uh, really soft zipper side zipper detail on the shoulder okay let's see what they're actually calling this this is burgundy it's by kaylee and it's the london shoulder zip boat neck knit 42 dollars so <laughs> i like it i would never undo that zipper um but it is, a, it is a nice top, so let me know what you guys think of this. Then we have, actually they're calling this a salmon color by Magnolia Grace, and it is a Pedia Tulip Hem Cowl Deck, $64. So actually, this was the most expensive thing in the box. So let me know what you think on that. And the leggings, <laughs> the corduroy leggings, which really, they feel very nice. They're by Tribal, and it's the Whitley Cord Pull-On Legging, dark gray, $48. That's not bad. And it's always nice to have, like I said, a different pair of leggings that look a little bit dressier. Let me know what you think I should keep in this box, because there's nothing I feel like that I hate, okay, which is a good thing, but there's nothing that it's like, oh my gosh, if I don't keep that item, I'm gonna continue to think about it. I like a lot of these actually, they're, they're cute. Everything's cute. The thing I may be surprisingly leaning toward the most maybe in my mind are these leggings. I never would have thought, but the other things are nice. So I'm gonna need your help to decide what do you think look best. All right, you guys, you know what time it is, don't you? It is time 
to either click off <laughs> or we're gonna get right on into the hot mess awards. So stay tuned for some more fun. All right, I just gave myself a little chuckle. So I thought, while I'm thinking about merchandise, right? I should get, <laughs> I should have another shirt that says, click off. <laughs> oh God. That's bad, right? But you know, if you don't like something, click off, right? You actually click off of here. That's what I mean. I don't mean eh, off, but some people could take it like that. <laughs> Let's get to the hot mess awards. All right, my fun time ladies. I'm glad you stuck around. We're getting ready to get into the hot mess awards. So today I have three outfits. And for those of you who do not know what in the world this is about, a few months ago, I decided to start a little something funny based on the style cards that sometimes you get shown on your Shop Your Looks app for Stitch Fix, some of the wild things that they pair together. It's really not a, a stylist putting them together, but more the computer kind of pairing these things together that you're like, what in the world? So we've been kind of making this a running joke now where we put these outfits together, these items together, and we're like, you know, this must be the new style. Stitch Fix is showing this on the Shop Your Look app, so let's go with it. So it's just something a little fun and just to give you a little laugh. And so I have three outfits today to share with you guys. And the cool thing is these three outfit ideas came from three different people's Shop Your App looks. So as I try on the different outfits, I will give a shout out to their name so that you guys know who these outfits were found by on their Shop Your Look apps. Let's get into it. All right, here we go with outfit number one. This funky floral combination was sent to me by none other than Kristen from Moments of Sanctuary. So she found this little lovely number on her app, Floral on Floral. And this is for you all who haven't quite transitioned into cooler weather yet, so you can still totally get away with wearing this. And just to make it more interesting, I paired the same colors together. Look at, you've got the oranges and the grays and the oranges and the grays. Look at that, you're just like one big old floral. But here's a little pop of something extra. I decided to pair it with these spunky little cheetah print shirt shoes because why not, right? I mean, really, if anything goes, why not pair floral with cheetah? I mean, come on. It is a no brainer. So Kristen, thank you for sending me this hot mess look. Now. Don't you all go running into your closets all at once now, trying to find this little nice number, because we all can't be looking the most stylish ever. All right, let's see what look is next. All right, ladies, here we go with outfit number two. This little hat number was sent to us by none other than Sheila Hall. She found this animal print on animal print on her Shop Your Looks app. And just to kick it up another notch, I paired it with another animal print shoe. <laughs> you can never have enough animal print, right? If you're like an animal print and you can't decide which one to wear that day, just put them all on, okay? You're good to go. We got you covered. So thank you, Sheila, for sending us this lovely number. We've got the cheetah print top, snakeskin pants, and leopard print shoe. Why not? Just don't ask, why not? You will be looking pretty wild in this kind of outfit, let me tell you that. All right, let's see our third outfit. And our last bit of inspiration was sent to us by Greta in Wisconsin, who was presented with the beautiful plaid on animal print combination. How about this, ladies? Who is not gonna think this is a fantastic outfit when they see you out on the town? Okay, this says I am ready to party and I'm ready to go to the apple orchard at the same time. Okay, I kind of think we have a winner here because I don't know, is there anything better? Like honestly, animal print and plaid. It's mind blowing. So thank you Greta for sending us this little number. You wear this out this fall, you're gonna get some head turns, just saying. All right, you guys, so that is the top three outfits I have got to share with you guys for our Hot Mess Awards. Now, to be fair, 
I'm gonna show you a few style cards I've seen on my style app in the past month or so that I'm like, ah, these actually go together. Like it's an outfit, it's a full on outfit and it all looks good. I'm shocked, right? So I wanted to just be fair and include these two because sometimes you see a really good outfit and you're thinking, how did this happen? <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like shocked right now, but it does once in a while. So I'm gonna show you those as well so that, you know, I'm not, I'm being fair here. So take a look at these. All right, you guys, that is a wrap. Don't forget to comment below. Let me know what you liked out of this try on and what you think I should keep. And also stay tuned for my next video coming out tomorrow, Friday, for my first Shocktober video of Halloween costume try on. You're not gonna wanna miss it. That's gonna be a fun one too. So thanks for sticking around. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on all the fall fun coming your way. Until next time, I hope you guys are having a great day and week and I'll see you soon. Bye.